You may have seen celebrity photos that have been photoshopped to accentuate celebrities' bodies. This is often using the smudge tool, or at least that's one way to do it, which we're going to look at here with this vase. I'm going to zoom in and focus just on this vase, and we're going to make it a little curvier using our smudge tool. This is hidden within the Blur family of tools, so if you click and hold on this family of tools, you can see additional options, including smudge. I'm going to change the size of my smudge tool up in the top menu to make it fit the size of my image here. And when I have roughly the same size as the curve I want to adjust, I'm going to click on my photo and hold, and I can drag that inward. Sometimes if it doesn't look exactly like you want, you can go back and change the size of the tool. I'm taking care to do this in a nice straight line so that the lines and the bricks behind don't get distorted. I'm going to make my tool a little larger and do this again down below. It'll be a little trickier to make this look natural with the handle, but we can try it. All right. When you do smudge, it always affects the image quality. It's not going to look as clear as it did at the beginning. If we want to check our work, we can use the history panel up here at the top to see what it looks like when we started and how it looks when it ended. This is a tool that's notorious because it is somewhat easy to spot if you know what to look for, but otherwise can rapidly change the shape of any items in your photo.